What's up guys, Greg Bear here. It's a balmy 18 degrees outside. I've been stuck in the house all day, so I decided to come out in the garage. As you can see, you can still see my breath. I even have my propane heater running. And I decided it's finally time to restore my grandpa's old hunting knife. So today's video, we're gonna deal with the blade here. It's not too horrible. It's just really discolored and stained. Just gonna take up a really simple sanding and polishing. This isn't gonna be a long video at all. And then eventually I'm gonna have to tackle this, this leather handle here. It's missing a few pieces. I don't even know where to start to get this kind of leather, but I'm gonna have to start looking online and find a couple pieces and glue that in place. And of course I'm gonna polish this part up and the metal right here as well. So this should be a really fun, satisfying project. And of course, I can actually see the branding on this. This is a J.C. Higgins knife. And I didn't do any research on it yet, but I'll probably do that by next video. I have some information on this particular knife, how old it is and whatnot. So with that being said, let's roll the intro and get this started. So I am planning on putting this in the vise, so first thing I'm going to do is wrap this handle up so I don't put uh, vise teeth marks on the leather, like so, and now uh, we are good to throw this in the vise. like every project we got to start with sanding but in this case I'm not going to use my DA sander like other projects I'm actually just going to use my Dremel so first things first just going to change this bit out we're going to go with this little sanding drum bit I've never actually used it before so we'll see how good it actually works I don't actually know the grit on it either and by the feel of it it's probably like a 60 or a 80 which should be plenty there's no deep pitting that I have to get rid of on this knife so this should make some pretty easy work of this staining and get a nice base of flat mirror shiny metal that we can start and polish and get it all done. Let's do it. Here's the result of just some simple sanding with the Dremel, with uh, whatever it might be, 60 grit or so. Here's the side I just did, and here's the undone side. So huge difference already. At this point, I'm gonna finish doing the other side, and then do by hand, probably start with like an 80 grit as well, get any scratches from the Dremel off, and then hand sand all the way up to 1,000, Get back on the Dremel with a polishing wheel and this will be done for the blade and then of course next video it's going to be the handle so let's go to time lapse So now I have both sides sanded with the Dremel and I actually did a little testing on it first. I'm going to start off with a 120 grit and just use the table itself and kind of just rub it like this for a while until I get a smooth flat surface and then move up to a 200, then a 300, then a 500, then a 1000 and then polish. So let's go ahead and get to the time lapse right now. Stop the time lapse for a second. I had a crazy thought. You know, as much as I love hand sanding for like 20 minutes straight, what if I take my DA sander, clamp it into the vise at the bottom, and turn it on, and then 
do it like that. Just let the DA do the work and kind of just sand it like that. Should probably cut the time by at least a quarter. So let's give it a whirl. When your mind becomes demanding, when you long for something, you will end up violating your own precepts. Not to tell lies, not to steal, not to kill, not to be immoral, and so forth. If you keep your original mind... So 500 grits done. Uh, I decided to skip 1,000 and 2,000 and go straight to, uh, I'm actually gonna use a rubbing compound this time and then go to the polishing compound to really get deep down and get a really nice mirror finish on it. So this should only take an extra few minutes and pretty much counteract the effect of me doing a 1,000 and a 2,000 sanding process. So should be super easy and time lapse. <laughs> So buffing is done and now we're going to move on to the polish. It's the classic chrome polish I use for any of my metal projects. So it's like usual, just a little bit goes a long way. Rub it all over both sides and we'll get this puppy started. Here we go. I said I was gonna do another video for the handle, but literally it's gonna take me like 30 seconds for the handle. I did a lot of research. Finding the leather that's exactly gonna match this is gonna be impossible, especially with like the wear that's on it already and this weird brown color and this weird yellow color that's right here. So what I'm gonna just do is get some JB Weld, mix it up and fill this gap in, sand it down, smooth it over, and then put some mineral oil all over this thing. But for now, I am actually going to put mineral oil on it just to protect it until I do finally do the JB Weld thing because I don't have any at my house right now. And it's about 11 o'clock at night, so I can't go anywhere and get it. I don't really feel like going to Walmart either. They probably have it though. But So for now, just get some mineral oil all over this guy and make her look real pretty. I'm sure this leather is super thirsty and it's just going to absorb all this oil no matter how many times I rub it on here. And that's about that. So, other than the handle, which I'm not gonna film because it's just not worth my time, we are done with the J.C. Higgins hunting knife. And of course I did spend some time in polishing the end, which I didn't film. That's about it. Check this out, look how shiny that guy is. Mm, that is nice restoration project, super easy. In real time, this only took me about an hour and a half. God, I wish I had one of those standalone belt sanders. I could probably cut my time in half easily. But overall, really happy with the project. I'm sure my grandpa would be happy to have his knife restored to brand new condition. And that's about it for the video today. So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, definitely subscribe to the Bear Family. My subscriber count is ridiculously low compared to people who put out crap every day. I really put my heart in my videos. I mean, yeah, I'd love to be monetized someday, make some money, but for now, I do it for fun, do it for a hobby. Keeps me busy in the winter time. 
because in the summertime I'm a full-time gardener. So this is my winter project right now. And if you want to stay in the know for my future uploads, make sure to turn on the notification bell and make sure it's set to notifications on always. I post a video every Monday and Friday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope to see you guys next video. Greg Bear out.